same dog. First, we're going to do it without props, and then we're going to do it with props. So Brianna's going to come forward in two plank. Bring us, bring the tips are going to spread nice and wide. She's going to have that sensation of pushing away from the floor, allowing the body to be nice and strong. She's going to take a moment to find her breath. So she's going to start to bring some real consciousness into her practice. So to travel into Urdhva Mukha, she's going to exhale, come into her Chaturanga Dindasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. She's going to open that part. So what we focus on here is we're coming to the tops of the feet. We're going to allow her glute muscles to just relax so she doesn't get into her sacrum. She's going to inhale, allow the energy to move up through her heart center. Shoulders are back and down and the dress is up so she can open up her throat chakra. So you're going to have a few breaths here again, pushing away from the floor, feeling strong. And then she's going to find softness with her breath. And then she's going to go right into downward facing dog. So she's going to exhale, push it back into downward facing dog, finding length. So the last pose, Urdhva Mukha, right? The heart is opening. And here, we're going to elongate the lumbar spine, which before was slightly contracted from outward dog. So when you go into downward facing dog, it's a counter pose for Urdhva Mukha. So now she's an Adha Mukha Svanasana, lengthening back. And now she's going to come forward into plank, drop to the knees, and come back onto the heels. Now we're going to do it with the blocks. So these are the sticky products, right? The blocks. These are fantastic because the bar is in the center. If you have any kind of wrist or finger troubles, it really helps to be able to use that so you're not putting all the pressure onto your hands directly. Kind of adjust what works for you. So she's going to inhale forward into plank like she did before. And again, one of the things that I really like about the sticky mat is that it has this line down the middle of the mat. So if you're questioning, if you're in the, you have the blocks in the right space, you can see very easily if you're positioning them correctly. So Brianna's going to exhale, go into her chaturanga. Now inhale, Urdhva Mukha, opening the heart. Good. So this gives you a little bit more space to lengthen up from the floor. Allow her tailbone to drop down and back and her glutes to soften. Good. She's going to open up the shoulders. Dharisti comes up and back. And then take a moment just to feel the length you're getting from your ankles all the way up through the heart chakra, the throat chakra. On her exhale, she's going to go right in to downward facing dog. Again, repositioning the blocks, allowing the heels to come closer to the floor. Finding softness in her neck, and tailbone drops down and back. Again, supporting that lumbar spine, finding the length at the upward facing the dog. And then she's going to inhale, come forward into plank, exhale to her knees, and come back and rest. 